Okay, so first thing that I want to highlight here is that most of the students confuse this one thing that WFME accreditation thing does not apply to ECFMG certification per se. That is the last step of the USMD journey that we are doing by ECFMG. It applies to the starting of it, like when we actually register for the USMD ID or the ECFMG ID that we say. So if your school is accredited like for now and it's not before 2024 and you have created that ID, you are still going to be able to give step exams after 2024 as well. So that is one thing that you should be very clear on. It is not certification. You don't have to rush and give step, step exams now. It's just the starting ID part. So even if you are like a first year medical school and you are like planning to go for USMLE and you're uncertain about this, just create your ID at the moment. So that's one thing. So can Secondly, you help as... our students understand creating an ID, what form uh, do they need to fill up and all so that they have a clarity on what it means to create an ID? Okay, so when uh, when you're starting with your ECFMG registration process, you go to the ECFMG IWA website, and there is an option to you know register as a new user. And when you open that option, you create your profile that sends a link to the ECFMG, which after approval will give you a, your unique ID number. Okay, that ID number is used for all your step exams, your ECFMG login, and everything else related to it. So that ID is what I'm talking about, that, that that process needs your school to be accredited. Because when you are registering for the ID, it's gonna ask for you know an option that uh, is your medical school listed in the World Directory of Medical Sciences or not. As of now, if your school is accredited to that, then you don't have a problem. So okay. that's one thing. That's form 186 and notary cam verification. That is what I'm talking about. So yeah, that's the form that you have to fill out and that's the process you have to go for. And next, talking about especially India, at this moment, NMC has already initiated the process of accreditation. So any student who is from India does not have to really worry about this thing because we are in the process of accreditation and we are hopefully going to get accredited as well. I know this because one of the co parents actually did email NMC and in their reply, they mentioned that they have started the process.